Did you know that Germany hired 57,000 foreign doctors in 2020? More than one third of these doctors, 32,000 of them, were non-EU nationals. The need for doctors is huge and it is increasing in Germany due to the aging population and retiring current doctors. If you're qualified, you have a chance to get into the strongest economy in Europe as a doctor. You just need to know how the process is and what the requirements are. Watch this video till the end to find all of it. Hey everyone, I'm Behnam from the Visa Library. This channel gives visa information and the latest news and updates. Before I begin, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell and download the free cheat sheet my team has prepared from the link in the description. Now let's get to know how you can move to Germany as a doctor. As I told you, every doctor can move to Germany, but you must be qualified. Let's get to know the qualification principles. The first requirement is an educational university degree in a related field. It must meet the German officials' standards. You'd better work hard during your studies to get a high GPA to meet these standards. Also, you might have to get your degree recognized. I'll talk about it and explain it a bit later. The second requirement is having a medical license. You must get a medical approval license from the German government. Once you get it, it is valid in the entire German territory and there is no expiry date with it as it is valid during your whole lifetime. You can find the list of the authorities who issued the license certificate from the link in the description. The third requirement is passing the exam that evaluates your knowledge and ability as a doctor. You must get 80% of the required scores in these exams to be eligible. Bear in mind that German officials are strict with the non-EU people who enter the country as a doctor. So you must work hard to prove that you are qualified to work as a doctor in the country. The fourth requirement is language proficiency. It's a must for doctors who want to emigrate to Germany. Some majors and courses are taught in English, but that is not the case with doctors. You must get at least a B2 level of German language proficiency for general doctors. And in most cases, you will need a C1 level medical German. Remember that every federal state has its own regulation for doctors. You must find out the rules for the state you want to move to and fulfill them. It is true for language requirement as well. You often have to pass a test to get your approbation. It tests your written and oral knowledge of German medical knowledge. You can find the German state's language requirement on the Association of Employed and Civil Servant Doctors in Germany website. The link is in the description. If the German state determines that you do not qualify for the language requirement, you must pass a test. When you apply for recognition, you will be registered for this test automatically. The fifth item is having a job offer. You must find it from a German em employer, medical center or hospital. You must search through the websites that provide job positions and apply for them. You need employer's approval to work in Germany as doctor. If you have received your qualification in a foreign country, they need to be comparable to German ones. It becomes especially true for medical certificates gained outside the EU. The process of evaluating them takes a bit longer. Until you get your medical license, you can work temporarily by applying for a temporary medical license. It allows you to work in Germany while waiting for your license and officials checking your eligibility. When you get a temporary medical license, you may start working as a medical resident or by working and studying your medical specialty. It can take some time until your medical eligibility gets processed. It is up to your specialty. The sixth requirement is your salary. Your job offer must fulfill the payment requirement. Doctors are well paid in Germany and even the beginner's salary is high. Your salary is up to your knowledge, work experience and the area you work in. But the average salary for an assistant doctor is about 65,000 euro and 80,000 euro for a specialist. The seventh item is your age and work experience. The top age limit for doctors to enter Germany is 50 years old. Also, you need to have at least two years of work experience. You should make up your mind as early as possible to improve your chance of getting accepted. Also, gather as much as work experience as you can. Now that you know you're eligible, how should you begin the process? The first step is to look at your degree. You must find out whether you need recognition of your documents or not. Recognition means that if you got your degree from outside of Germany, EU, EEA and Switzerland, the officials must recognize it as equivalent to a German degree. German officials evaluate your degree and background to determine if you're eligible to work as a doctor in Germany or not. To know if you need recognition or not, you must answer these questions. 1. Have you learned your profession abroad, not in Germany, or have you studied abroad at, at an institution of higher education or a university? 
2. Have you successfully completed your training or degree? 3. Are you from EU, Iceland, Norway or Switzerland? 4. Are you living in Germany at the moment? 5. Are you from these countries? The EU members, the UK, Switzerland, Canada, Japan, Israel, the Republic of Korea, Australia and the US? If the answer to the mentioned questions is no, you need recognition to work in Germany as a doctor. If your degree doesn't need recognition, you can move to Germany and work as a doctor by passing the language requirement. I will explain the recognition process a bit later. The second step is to prepare your language proficiency certificate. As I told you, you need a German language proficiency certificate. The required level is with the state you want to move to. It's B2 or C1. You can find it on the Association of Employed and Civil Servant Doctors in Germany website. I introduced it to you and the link is in the description. After you get the language proficiency certificate, you must send your documents and certificate for recognition. But a big question, where should you send them? You must send your documents to the German Medical Association of the state you want to work for. You can find the list of names, addresses, and contact details from the link in the description. You can apply for recognition from inside or outside of Germany. But if you need a visa to enter Germany, you can apply for a tourist visa and enter the country to complete the procedure. Remember that you need to submit proof of whatever you mention in your application. Professional work experience, proof of identity, proof of completed training courses, certificate of formal education, a statement that no application for a declaration of equivalence uh, has been filed. You can ask the full list of supporting documents from the German Medical Association. After you send all of your documents for recognition, you must pass some tests and exams. There is a language test to ensure you master German. You will be automatically registered for this exam after you apply for recognition. You won't need a language test if one of these items is true for you. 1. You have a degree from a German-speaking university. 2. You have a degree from a German-speaking school with at least 10 years of general education. 3. You have got a degree with at least 3 years of vocational training in German. You need a B2 level in German to become eligible for the language test. Are you wondering how to register for the language test? You won't have to register it in person. When you send your documents for recognition, if you have to take the test, the state officials will inform you. You will receive an email and have to transfer the fee for the language test. The cost varies between 390 euros to 600 euros and depends on the official state. After paying the fee is complete, you will receive an examination date and all other necessary information for the professional language examination. The officials inform you of the exact date and location of the exam. If you're late for the exam or miss it, you will fail it and must take it again. The language test lasts 60 minutes and takes uh, the form of an individual examination. The examiners are experienced physicians. It consists in a case study of a typical situation in a hospital. A conversation and documentation situation is simulated. The focus of the exam is on the testing listening comprehension as well as oral and written expression skills. Your medical knowledge is not tested on this exam, but general medical knowledge is mandatory for passing the language test. There are three stages to the exam. The first part of the examination is a simulated doctor-patient interview. In this part, the candidate conducts an interview with a simulated patient. In the conversation, the patient is a physician from the examination board. Your task is to explain and formulate the suspected diagnosis, make suggestions for further diagnosis and therapy, and explain the intended measures to the patient. You must respond appropriately to the patient's queries. So, listening comprehension is a must. Your skills to respond to the patient and task appropriate questions are assessed. You understand the patient's statements with certainty and use clear, understandable language that contains some foreign words and medical terminology. When you examine the patient, you have permission to take notes as well. The second part of the exam is the documentation of the doctor-patient discussion. You will receive an anamnesis sheet and must summarize the medically relevant information you got in the anamnesis interview in writing to a doctor's report. You can use your notes for this stage as well. You will have a medical dictionary and can use it for if you need. Documentation of the medical history interview takes place in a separate room. In the meantime, the staff of the medical association supervise this part of the examination and ensure you comply with the time requirements. 
The third and last part of the exam is a doctor-doctor discussion or conversation. You will have a conversation with the medical doctor about the information you got from examining the patient. You must present the information you got from the patient and write in your sheet to a doctor in a structured way and use some medical terminology. The examiner will ask you some questions. You must answer them and translate a few medical terms into German. You will receive the results immediately after finishing it. If you fail, you can take it again and again but you have to pay the registration fee. After passing the language test comes the knowledge and skill test. It verifies whether your knowledge as a foreign physician is comparable to German standards or not. German authorities could add one or two sections to the test to assess your skills in this particular field. It depends how different medical studies are with German standards. There are some books that help you to prepare for the knowledge test. If the knowledge test is required and is part of the recognition process, you don't have to apply for it. But if not, you must apply for it and take the exam. If you must take the test, make sure to submit your application at least six months before the exam. The cost varies between the federal states. The range is about 266 euros to 1100 euro. The fee changes and up to several factors. You would better ask the exact cost at the time of application. The test includes a clinical and an oral practical examination of the patient's presentation. So it takes place in an approved university clinic or in a hospital. The first part is the clinical examination. You have to examine the patient. The examination is supervised by a medical member of the examination board. The duration of the examination is about 30 to 45 minutes and you have to write a medical report. You must provide information about the medical history, diagnosis, and different diagnosis. The medical report also contains information about the prognosis, treatment plan, and epicrisis of the case. The second part is the oral practical examination. You will take the oral practical examination on the same day or a few days later after clin clinical examination. This part of the examination is conducted as a group examination. Each of the candidates will have 90 minutes. The focus of the question relates mostly to the subject of medicine and surgery. These are the ranges of the questions that you have to answer. Interdisciplinary questions on emergency medicine, clinical pharmacology, imaging procedures, radiation protection, legal issues of medical practice. You will receive the results after the exam from the examiners. Then you will get written confirmation of the results from the competent district in the state government. There is no score for the test, you just have to pass it and get approval from the examiners. You can take the skill tests only twice. If you don't pass it, the examination board recommends when you should repeat the examination at the earliest. They will also give more recommendations so you can pass the exam. After you pass all of the exams and send the required documents, you will get the German approbation. The state officials will mail it to you. Now you can work as a doctor in Germany. At this stage, you must apply for a job position in Germany. There are websites that advertise such job positions, websites like Indeed, Stepstone, LinkedIn, jobrapido.de. You can find a list of them in the visual library article from the link in the description. After getting the job offer, you must sign an employment contract with a German employer. Then the employer must apply for a work permit. When the work permit is issued, you must gather the list of supporting documents and apply for a work visa at the German embassy or consulate in your home country. Visa library has prepared a video about Germany work visa you can watch to get the full information. You could also apply for an EU blue card if you're eligible. But the eligibility principles are strict and you must earn at least 43,000 euros per year. I'm not done here. There is another way to become a doctor in Germany. You can study a medical course at a German university. It's a completely different route than getting your degree from outside of Germany. First, you must learn the German language. The courses at the university are taught in German and you need to prove your language proficiency to become accepted. Although English is spoken in the country, it is limited and you must be fluent in German. Each university has its language and educational requirements. Then you must take the test AS. Universities use the test AS as a standard method to evaluate whether the applicant is qualified to study at the university or not. You need to prepare yourself for the test and get a passing score. You can find more information about the test AS from the link in the description. After you pass the score, visit the university's website and find out what the requirements are. Fulfill all of them and gather the list of supporting documents. Have the documents translated into German or English and apply to the university. The university's requirements are like this, German skills, secondary school living certificate, good English skills, higher school knowledge in biology, chemistry, math, good GPA, university specific criteria, training in the medical field, 
voluntary service, good results in medical study, aptitude test. After you get admission to a German university, you must apply for a student visa. You must gather the list of supporting documents and then submit the application to the German embassy or consulate in your home country. Schedule a meeting with the embassy in your home country, then visit and submit the documents. You need to wait for the visa processing to get your visa. You must complete your education and get your certificate from a German university. Then you have to pass the state exam. It is a required step to become a doctor in Germany. When you pass it and get your license, you can work as a doctor in Germany. Alright then, this was all you must know to become a doctor in Germany. If you have questions, write them down in the comment section. The visa library team will answer them. Before you leave, like this video, hit the bell, and get the free PDF file my team has prepared from the link in the description. You should also follow us on Instagram and Facebook to catch up with the latest visa news and updates. Until the next video, thank you all for watching.